Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, yesterday, at the beginning of the afternoon, there was a update, the preview update for uh, Windows 11 23H2. And it took all the way to the end of the day for Microsoft to release the 24H2, 25H2 preview updates. And I didn't have time to talk about them uh, yesterday. So we're talking about them today. So, of course, if you don't do anything, you're not seeing it. But if you go and check out your Windows updates, you'll notice that there's a preview update waiting to install. Uh, if I look at the update history here, you could see it here. Preview update KB5067036 brings your bill number to 26100 or 26200.7019. And there's also, for some of you, a .NET Framework preview update that was released also. So it fixes several bugs, including a few that are uh, important. Some people on 24H2 had a error when trying to look at Windows updates, and it would just not do anything except give a um, error code. And uh, that is fixed. There's also quite a few things that have been fixed uh, that were problematic within the system. It also introduces or turns on some of the features that are just basically uh, dormant. They're already there, but Microsoft doesn't turn them on for everybody. I don't have most of these new features, but some of you might see that the start menu has a new design look. Not everybody will see it, but some of you will. So there's a new design look for Windows Update, uh, for the start menu, sorry. Uh, there's a new icon for the battery if you have a laptop. That I have on my gaming laptop. I did notice that the battery icon has changed to the new one with colors. And uh, several other new things, including some of them in File Explorer. So uh, there are a few new uh, features and um, quite a big list of bug fixes in here for Windows 11. So if you had issues and so on, this might fix some of the problems. If uh, you like new features, you might see some of them. You might not, once again. Making it difficult to know when and where people get new features or not. It is also interesting to note that they used to call them with the full name of, you know, cumulative, cumulative update preview, blah, 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 blah. And so you, you see it one example here. September was a cumulative update preview for Windows 11. Now they're just called preview update. So uh, that's all. Of course, they don't install. If you don't go and check them out in the Windows Update, don't do anything. They're not going to install. They're going to install with the next uh, Patch Tuesday updates that will be coming up in November. And so uh, this is something you can wait. Sometimes you never know. There could be some problems with it, and you might want to wait until they fix the bugs, usually by the time they get to Patch Tuesday. So uh, they are here, they have arrived, and um, they uh, are fixing quite a few things and adding new features on 24 and 25H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.